Woohoo! My friends Godzilla, Sharktopus, and I, Catherine Saunders, would like to welcome you to a new semester here at City College of San Francisco. The truth shall set you free. Woohoo! Yay! I love that motto. And the first thing I would like to do is tell you a little bit about myself. So we'll meet uh, Sharktopus and Godzilla to step away. And what a lot of people often want to know is, what did you do before you came to City College? Well, before I came to City College, I was a student too. I was a student at UC Berkeley where I earned an undergraduate degree, a BA in economics and applied mathematics. And I really love economics. And I really like math. But what was more exciting to me was actually teaching math. So after I got my undergraduate degree, I went on and I went to UCLA and I got my master's degree in pure mathematics so that I could then come to City College. Woohoo! Yay! Back in 1995. And what people often ask about 1995 is, was it hard teaching when there were dinosaurs still roaming the land? And the answer is, yes, it was. But we had dinosaur spray. And, you know, they're, you know it's, it's pretty easy to scare off some dinosaurs. Just, you know, show them some word problems. Because, you know, first fun fact about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs never did math homework. And now many dinosaurs are extinct. Fun fact, that's the truth. So I don't know what you want to take from that, but not doing your homework, could it make you extinct? Possibly, possibly. So then the next question people want to know is, okay, but do you live at City College? And the answer is yes, I do. And then they say, no, I'm not supposed to say that. So occasionally they do allow me to go home. And when I go home, I have three carpet weasels, three kids who are at my house at various times. They are mostly grown now. So I have two who are currently at universities far away from home and one who is still living at home but attending a community college near our house on the peninsula. So I'm very lucky and I get to see them a lot. And as you can hear possibly in the background, we also have pets. Yay! Let's hear for pets. So currently, this is Selkie, Princess of Darkness. This is Chappie, the rescue rabbit. This is Hershey. And this is Galaxy. Galaxy's my little lion. And the one you can hear so loudly saying hello, that's Chai. And she's just down under my feet right now. She's a foster cat. She belongs to one of the weasels. And um, so we're watching her for a little bit. And she's very excited about the change in scenery. So, what else can I say? Well, I can say that because I am a working mom, because I am a mom who is trying to fit in work and school with parenting, and it is getting easier now, but I went through, you know, I had 20 years of trying to juggle everything. It's really, really important to me to make my materials as accessible as possible. So you'll notice that I will be going out of my way, both in my online classes and in my face-to-face -face classes, to try to make sure that there are all the materials you need to do what you need to do to learn the math I'm asking you to learn. So the first thing I'm going to ask you is if there is something that doesn't make sense, if there's something that I could do, if there's anything that I could change that would help you learn the math better or help you to be better able to, you know, approach the homework or turn in the written assignments, please ask. Definitely do not hold back. Okay, so 
Next up, a little bit more about me and the class. It's kind of silly. I'm five minutes in and I haven't told you my name, but hopefully you know my name because you signed up for my class and hopefully you looked me up on right, your professor, right, my professors, I think that's what it is or something. So you know what you're in for. So Catherine is a fine way to address me or Ms. Saunders. My pronouns are they, them, she. And let me bring back City College some stuff about me as a teacher. First thing is you'll notice in my puppet, I'm barefoot, which is true. I am barefoot right now when I'm recording this video. I'm also barefoot when I teach in class. And I'm usually barefoot when I'm teaching from home for my online classes. Um, I have um, I have a joy of being barefoot and I am thrilled that City College has put up with it so far. So, or perhaps they just haven't figured out how to make me stop. So the other thing to know about me, when people say, why are you teaching this class? Why teach math? Why, if you love puppets and all things silly and joking around, why are you teaching math? And the answer is, well, the reason that I decided to become a math teacher was because I only liked and to be honest in school a lot of times I really didn't like math and I realized that once I started to understand math that there was no reason that I didn't like it I, I should have liked it but I just didn't like the way that my teachers were presenting it and it turns out that I am a very visual graphic learner so I like pictures I like looking at things I'm not very good with words and in fact it turns out I'm a little bit dyslexic, but I'm also a storyteller. I like to learn using story, not using facts. So I will tell you fun facts, but in reality, what I'd like to do is I'd like to tell you a story about the fun facts. So the way that I usually teach my classes is I will do my best to tell you all the math that I think is reasonable for me to tell you. And by that, I mean, I am happy to tell you everything about math, but it would take a long time. And you would probably get slogged down in some of the details. So instead, I'll tell you the real math that is authentically, absolutely true. And then I will also tell you a story that I hope will help you remember things. Now, what do I mean by a story? Well. This is Godzilla, and this is Sharktopus, because I love monster movies, and they are my support carnivores. Sometimes I use them just to hang out, because they help calm me down when I'm feeling nervous, um, and sometimes they'll actually be part of the explanation. But I have other friends. I have this squirrel, who's really great at explaining why you can't divide by zero, or even weirder, when you can divide by zero. I also have Liam Neeson. Ooh, Liam Neeson loves to do logarithms. There's sad Liam Neeson and happy Liam Neeson. I've also got, um, where is he? Sad Matt Damon and happy Matt Damon. They help us with systems of equations. I've got my lovely, this is one of my favorites, my sparkly vampire helps us with denominators and exponents. And the creature that got me started on all of this, Square Bear, rah, explains about how to do square roots. Now, can you still take my class and learn real math? Absolutely. It is really important to me that you learn the actual math, but it's also important to me that you're able to remember it. So I'm gonna approach it from lots of different ways. And if all the ways I approach it doesn't don't work, what should you do? Hmm, if only I had something prepared. Oh, there it is. Ah, yes. If you have any questions, please ask. Please feel free to uh, send me email. Please feel free to message me in Pronto, which is the Canvas messaging app. Um, please feel free to come to my office hours. We're even going to have office hours in person. 
um, now that the pandemic is subsiding, fingers crossed, and uh, you can actually meet me in person. But definitely come in and ask me if you have any questions. My whole goal is that I am doing this so that I can answer people's questions. I can help you through this math. And it's really okay with me. It's really, really okay with me if you don't love math. You do not have to love math. I did not love math. It took me a while to learn math, in fact. And so it's okay with me if you're just taking these classes because somebody else told you you had to or because you have to take calculus later on, or because you have to do something else. My goal is to help you understand the math and then hopefully get, get back to doing whatever it is that you were doing to get to wherever you want to be in your life. My greatest joy is the fact that I can be a little tiny step on the path to your dreams. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I just said that. Ugh. Oh, Liam Neeson is disappointed in me. Oh, seriously. Okay, so from all of us, from Sparkly Vampire, from Godzilla, from the dinosaurs that didn't do their math homework, from Sharktopus, who's actually a really sweet guy when you get to know him, even from Square Bear, because, you know, Square Bear, Square Bear still, still hopes that you do really well in math. From all of us, I want to thank you for listening to this very silly video. And thank you for taking a chance on a math class. Thank you for your trust. I really appreciate it. I think you guys are awesome. Uh, nothing's going to stop that. Just remember to ask lots of questions. Be really brave. Talk to me if you can. If you need any help with anything, you know, reach out and, um, you know, kiss your brain. You guys are awesome. Remember to get some hydration. Remember to go out and get some exercise, stretch those muscles, you know, eat some vegetables if you can, you know, get lots and lots of sleep. I know I'm working on it too, but, um, you know, sleep is really important and, um, you know, have a great day. Woohoo and math on.